Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the lahmacun with instead yeast. Okay? Instead of just using water and you need sugar and you need warm liquid water. Water, just plain water. Okay. First we need to, I, I can't, I'm old school, I have to rise it before I start anything. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of, of instant yeast. And then I'm going to use sugar have it rise <laughs> and then we're going to add warm water and this will take a sap and what I do is I put it in my microwave because it's always warm in there right okay so and I'm just gonna wait this to rise and then I'll be right back and we will start I still have the ingredients from my last video, which I made the lahmacun with plain water and flour, nothing else. So uh, this is going to be done with the yeast, and I'll be right back. Before I'll be right back, I will put it in the microwave and I will show you. Okay, so here's my microwave. These don't last long. I noticed that the heat is dropping when we first bought it, it was so strong but now it's not it's been uh, since 2018 I believe so I'm not gonna turn anything I'm just gonna let it rise because it's nice and warm in there okay and I'll be right back when it rises okay see how it rises? this is the perfect okay now I'm going to be adding uh, I, I'm thinking about five to six cups of flour and while I'm adding flour what I do is I'm going to add the salt about a teaspoon of salt and that mix it together and then what I'm going to do is with my wisp going to and then it will become bubbly 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 while I'm doing that I'm going to add more flour okay, I might need to use my hands well I'm going to be using my hands are clean I watch wash my hands I don't know 100 times a day <laughs> and I use vinegar especially if I'm going to be making food just to be uh, cautious okay just like this not going to be making too many this time I don't think so so we added three four cups I believe Maybe this would be five I don't want to add that too many because I want the dough to be soft yeah I will use up all this And then I'm going to have it rest again, I don't know, until it rises. Yeah, this process takes longer. That's why lots of people just use plain water, salt water, salt, put salt in it, because it's faster, right? This takes longer, that's why 
this isn't that popular, but uh, I want to try it. And then, and I wanted to try it with you guys. Well, uh, I do make the margin. The past years, I did. So, uh, for today, I wanted to share it with you. Because uh, it's different. It's a different dish. And lots of homemakers are looking for new recipes, right? And while I'm making, I'm sharing it with you. Okay. So, uh, you will notice the dough is ready when there's no flour in your hand. So it's not ready. So I think I used about five cups of flour total. coming out see just a little bit more Still soft, just a little bit more. Oh my, this, this takes a while to knead it, right? And we want it, I want it in perfect, perfect. Cause uh, too much flour will harden it and we don't want that. We want it nice and soft. See how it picks up? And then it will pick up. Well, it didn't pick up, but uh, I don't want to put too much flour. Just like this. So this is nice and soft. Try to move these ones. I think this is enough. We'll need it a little bit. And I'll be right back. It's going to take me a while. Okay, so it's ready. As you can see, it just turned fantastic. So I'm going to cover it with a bag. And I'm going to put it in the microwave again. And wait it for, for it to rise. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I have... Uh, see how it rised? That's what we're looking for. <laughs> Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make small balls, batches, whatever you like to call them. And uh, I will move the container right here. Let me just move this camera. I bought this from AliExpress as well, for a small price. I can't remember exactly how much I paid, but it was not a huge amount. Okay, see? Picks up all of the dough that was left in the bar. This is how I do it. I will uh, put the link under the description on how to uh, make uh, lahmacun with plain water and 
then you can try that one as well. So I'm dividing into small pieces just like this. making it into and then we're going to have it rest here so I don't want to make it huge well I will make a couple I'm going to put this in the oven so uh, I might try to make the small ones in, on the pan just to see how it looks so you guys can see but I would highly recommend you to try it. So these would be going into the oven, the big ones and the small ones, I will cook them on the pan for uh, 15 minutes. I did I cooked them for 15 minutes. Okay, so I will continue to make like these like balls and uh, with the plain water, I had a total of 13 and we'll see how many we're going to have with these. Okay, so I made a total of 13 again, but some of them are small. So some of them, I'm going to put them in the oven, some I'm going to cook them in the pan. So I'm going to rest this a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to start. I'm going to start with the big one <laughs> and then uh, put it here and move these small ones just like this. Okay. The reason I focused in on how to make the dough is very important because uh, that took me years and years and years of making, baking, and trying to find the best way to make the dough. So that's not easy. And with all these years of experience I've been uh, having, I just wanted to focus on how to make the dough on the first video and on the second. And the ingredients, like you can get any, uh, you can use anything. You can make vegetable. This is with ground beef, garlic, onion pepper you can put anything you can put veggies if you're a vegetarian um, but uh that's the reason i focused on um, on the dough because uh with the ingredients you can make anything but but with the dough it's it's it has to be perfect right so i hope you got the d how it uh, i hope you understand how to make the dough not that hard it's just uh, yeah okay I like this <laughs> uh, then turn it around okay I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger so it's it's like Turkish pizza in Turkey it's called lahmacun So again, uh, you can make the dough and then put it aside, but don't put the ingredients, just put the ingredients when you're ready to put it in the oven or in, uh, when you're going to make it, uh, bake it, uh, cook it on the, on the stove top. Because the, the, it's watery, right? We don't want to get the dough watery. Okay, I think this is enough. It's pretty thin enough. Okay, I'm gonna move. Here you can see it right. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this a little bit this way. Okay, bring this here. When we lived in uh, Izmit, 
they were putting uh, chestnuts on top of the lahmacun and that was giving it a different taste so I'm going to do a couple of them because my husband and I really like it again this is done with yeast yeast whichever you pronounce it and uh, it's going to be different than just the plain water and uh, salt water that we have done on the first video so uh, you can try it so easy uh, you're gonna ask me can't you buy this where you live yeah we buy it but uh I like to make it at home it's homemade right we buy it we buy and eat but uh it's nothing like homemade right okay so I'm going to uh to put a little bit of uh, this you can like I said you can put anything you want just to give a give it a little a kick and then I'm going to put it in the oven right here in the oven for a th I don't know let's see let's see how long it's gonna cook up I put it down up to a uh, three 350 on my oven here 370 I'm sorry uh, actually it's 375 okay so I'm gonna continue making more dough and I will try it on the stove top and see what's gonna happen I'll be right back okay so I put another margarine and it's cooking see there's no bubbling so the meat is cooked but I just want the dough because this is done so I want this part to be brownish so it hasn't turned brown yet so I will wait for that meanwhile I removed one batch from the one long margarine from the oven so this one is cooking as you can see the meat is cooked but the dough is still not cooked so here it is this one's cooked as you can see it's all brown <laughs> isn't this gorgeous my son is going to be having fun and this is from the this is from the pan see it's all brown so this one is cooked as well so I hope you like this video I just wanted to share you how to cook with yeast and uh, go from there you can use this dough with anything you want what you can do is I usually fill them up fill it like what I do is I put the meat or cheese parsley anything and then what I do is I close it and we call this a pocha so it's the same dough and then we close it like this and then uh, put some egg uh, some uh, um, uh, some stuff oh, can't remember C uh, cinnamon cinnamon <laughs> uh, put some uh, decoration on top and then go like that and then you can cook it's like prego yeah so uh, I hope you like this uh, this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and uh, Thank you for watching again. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you can be notified every time I post a video. And uh, yeah, I know there's a huge mess. Look at my stove. I cooked, I made soup. I made spaghetti. <laughs> and uh, spaghetti. I have uh, two hungry men in the house. And then my flour. Look how big mess it is. So what I do is I... I wash everything one at a time as you can see see and I play put them here and uh, yeah so I clean as I go and when I'm done uh, what I do is I vacuum the floor and wash it so it's nice and clean 
Yeah, everything gets a mess because of the flower, right? It's a lot of work. Well, if yeah, if you watch this all the way to the end, thank you so much and uh, bon appetit.